Hi, this is Kelly Hewitt with Oil In My Lamp. And I just wanna thank you for the tremendous opportunity for allowing me to talk to you about my thoughts and opinions, for inviting me into your personal Bible study time. It is a privilege to be able to come and share these moments with you. Last week, I talked about how to create mentoring environments in your life. But today, I wanna to take that idea a step further. Titus 2, 3 to 5 says this, and you can read along in your Bible. Older women likewise are to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossips or enslaved to much wine, teaching what is good so that they may encourage young women to love their husbands and their children, to be sensible, pure, workers at home, kind, being subject to their own husbands so that the word of God will not be dishonored. I want to take a deeper look at this beautiful verse. You know, when I think of the older women, I always think of women much older than me. But notice that Paul doesn't put an age on older, which means that we can look at ourselves as older than someone else. The fact is, while we're readying our hearts to be mentored and add to our own mentoring quilt, we can also be adding quilt pieces to the lives of the women around us. The mentored become the mentors. Wouldn't you like to grow into this kind of woman? This scripture clearly lays out what we should be working on to become the best mentors we can be. And here are the five qualities of a good mentor from Titus 2, 3 to 5. Be reverent in our behavior. Reverent means showing a lot of respect to everyone, all ages, races, and even lifestyle choices. It means showing respect to those who voted for a different candidate, or for those who have a garish tattoo, or who make strange spousal or parenting choices. Reverence is a choice we make to honor every human being, just as Christ would. Number two, do not engage in gossip. This can be so difficult for me. But we must train ourselves to refrain from saying malicious things about others. I think malicious is the key phrase here. Not everything we say about another person is malicious. Malicious implies an intent to harm. We would never want to bring other women harm or to be women who harm others. Before you say anything about another person, ask yourself the hard question, what is my intention in relaying this information? Am I hoping for harm or for good? Number three, don't be known as a woman who gets drunk. Your beliefs here may be different than mine, but the scripture is very clear. Mentor women don't have a reputation for drunkenness. Number four, teach what is good. To teach what is good, we must know what is good. Forget the idea of Bible study. You know, you don't ask a person who's reading a fiction novel, what are you studying? The fact is, we just need to read the Bible. You don't have to be a scholar, just read it. And you will then be equipped to teach what is good. And number five, encourage. Encouragement isn't natural for me. I don't know why. It's not my top skill. I want to build it into a better skill. But I do know that it's a command from Scripture, and I do know that I love being encouraged. Encouragement about someone being a good wife or a mother is a great place to start the mentoring process. Notice something that a young wife or mother is doing well and encourage them in that. Listen, we can all find faults. We can all notice something that's wrong, but a good mentor notices the good things and points those out. Never forget that this verse applies to all women. Someone is always older or younger than you are. If we're culturing mentoring environments in our lives, and also preparing to mentor, we can all learn to be sensible, pure, workers at home, kind. We can learn to be subject to our own husbands so that the word of God will not be dishonored. 
as you experience bloom in your life, prepare to become a mentor to another woman who's also feeling wilted. We've all been there at one time or another. Pray for mentoring opportunities and also be ready to mentor when the time comes for you by keeping those five qualities in mind. Thanks for watching Oil in My Lamp videos. You can find us on YouTube for binge watching. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram so that you don't miss a moment of your season to bloom.